Alright guys, in the last episode we did the race and everything from Violet. Violet got mad at us and I think we repaired our relationship with Violet pretty good. So it was called the Covenant, but I went back, I golded and aced as many as I could, but I got every single gift so we can run through and do all the gifts, so. Let's go ahead and see what is going on. This is all that's left of yellow, huh? Just as... A lot of side quests, huh? Well, still, this game has a lot of missions. A lot. Right, and these you don't have to kill everything. I can like unlock him to play as? Looking to drop something. He's got a gift. You're a man of taste, White. I thought you might like this. You know, I found something around the office you might like. You should go ask Abby about it. Oh, yeah. That thing. I almost threw it out. There you go. Red's drawing of Mikey. Drawing of Mikey made by Red during one of their meetings. She's good at drawing too. Thanks, Gabby. Looking to drop. I guess it's just everybody's like interpretations and stuff. <laughs> Louise. These neons keep getting younger, I swear. That's sort of how time works, yes. It wouldn't bother me so much if I could understand what they're saying to me half the time. They speak so many damn languages and they still somehow find new words to confound me. For instance, what the hell is OMG? Uh, you know. Please tell me you know. This is gonna be fun. Oh, Mikey. Everyone knows what OMG stands for. Old Man Greasy. What? What? 
Really? They're calling me that? Sounds like it. This is a little brats. Then what about POG? What's that stand for? Hmm. Mm, I'm pretty sure that means push old greasy. They want to push me? They can freaking try. Yeah, you tell them, Mikey. Yeah, no respect. I can't believe this whole time these little twerps are just insulting me to my face, no less. They're just gonna tell me that K-pop means kick poor old man pop. Close. The K actually stands for kill. What? Oh. Mikey, sir, Neon is ready to see you. Perfect timing. Send them in, Gabby. If I hear one single acronym spill out of their gremlin mouth, I'm gonna freaking ape. You might want to get out of here, White. It's gonna get ugly. There was a frame there, and I don't know what it was. Are you kidding? All the more reason to stick around. See yourself. Talk to Gabby for our next mission. Don't want to do that just yet. Red is practically unkillable, but I believe in myself. Looks like we're getting a side quest. Maybe? Yeah. We'll spend some time with Violet. Hiya! Hey, wait, can I ask you something? Sure. Okay, so if you had to be murdered, how would you want to go out? Uh, why? Why are you like this? Perfectly valid question as someone you're getting to know. Can you ask me something less messed up, like my favorite animal? The wolf, by the way. You guys tell a lot about somebody by... Wait, what? You could just really tell a lot about someone by how they'd like to be murdered. So this is a question you ask a lot. Mm -hmm. On every date. Yep. Is this a date? Depends on your answer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really sit around thinking about the way I'd like to be murdered. Maybe I need an example. What's yours? Definitely a murder of passion. Someone who loves me so much they can't control themselves. It'd have to be a stabbing, and I want to bleed out slowly. Violet? Jesus. And then maybe they eat me afterwards? What the fuck? <laughs> You're too easy, easily scandalized, boy. Good turn. I don't know. I guess I want my murderer to be euthanize me. Humanely. Like when you put a sick pet to sleep. I'm gonna go ask where I'm set. I bet she'll say something spicier than your unseasoned chicken ass answer. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> unseasoned chicken ass! <laughs> oh my god. Because she's a normal, decent human being. Wait! Unseasoned chicken ass. <laughs> Jeepers. And that's my list of insults to use. We all know Violet's uh, side stories are ridiculously hard, so let's go. Okay. She like this. Ah! <laughs> Guys, I might be here for a bit. Wait, do I have to shoot the last one then? I think I do. No! Oh. 
I shoot that one. Jesus. It's so unpredictable. I can do this! I'm the GOAT. I'm the greatest there ever was. Come on. Oh, do I got it? Yo, that was fire. Let's go. Make the video for that one. That was dope. Give me more of that. I want a whole game of just violet missions, please. If anybody can make like, a mod for that or something, that'd be huge. Rad is Spend some time with Violet. Hmm. And then this wire goes in here. Yeah, that's seems right. Oh, what are you? Why are you doing yeah. that? making explosions? These other stuff looks pretty complex. How do you make heads or tails of any of it? It's not that hard once you get the hang of it. It's like way harder than just swinging a sword. You're lucky you get to brute force your way through life. <laughs> pretty gay, not gonna lie. Well, if I didn't have these more alternative skill sets, I probably wouldn't have been... I would have been a goner by now. I gotta admit, it's pretty impressive, Violet. It does the job, and you'd be surprised by how much scrap is lying around in heaven. But, what is it? The only issue is sometimes I just don't have the arm strength to fasten all these screws. Well, I had big, strong muscles like you, White. Hey, don't worry. I can lend you a hand if you want. Oh, thank you, White. You're the West. Wait. Just demonstrating another one of my alternative skills, <laughs> manipulating the male ego. I'll remember that next time, you little brat. In a way, I appreciate the help. Don't worry, I'll be sure to credit you when I blow up red with this. What? Wait, what? Oh, shit, wait. Who's this angel? Is it true that mortals pee? What did I expect? I can't see through your mask, but I just know you've got the look of someone who's about to do something stupid. He <laughs> gives her a gift. Oh. You spend some time with Red. Water here. Not cutting it for you? I just wish we had other options when it came to unwinding. To be honest, I'd be content with a proper drink. My desires aren't so simple. You won't remember, but in life I used to have a motorcycle. Whoa. For real? Yeah. After a hard day, I'd just ride in the dead of night along the mountainside or something and feel the wind whipping my hair. Maybe for adrenaline. I don't know. I guess that was part of it. I used to just feel so trapped by life. Maybe it's a trite thing to say, but only on my bike could I really grasp what it meant to be free. I can understand that. I kind of feel the same way when I'm holding my sword. I can easily see myself being entranced by the motorcycle life. <laughs> well, that's so hard to imagine being a motorcycle, is it? Absolutely not. I could see it perfectly in my mind's eye. Today I let you take my baby for a spin and you... <laughs> you crash immediately. What? Bam! Right into a hot dog cart. And if you were <laughs> just covered in wieners. <laughs> just scuffed my bike a bit, but seeing you in such a state made it all worth it. You're really good at driving cars, though. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I can't see through your mouth.
Side quest, people. Side quests. Let's go. Gotta go fast. Ah. Almost didn't make that, huh? Nothing. What up, Raz? So many of you neons are so obsessed with strengthening the body, but which of you are strengthening the mind? <laughs> Nerds. Nerds. I've heard of a little thing called yoga that can strengthen both. Man, Raz is homie. You're kind of getting a reputation at the bar. Lots of neons have been talking about you. Ugh. Who cares? Bunch of gossip, probably. Most of the time, they are, but there was someone who admitted they found you quite handsome. A very pretty someone, in fact. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, a bartender must keep his secrets. Whatever. You have a crush on someone in heaven, White? What is this, middle school? Screw that. I'm not going to give anyone the chance to spill my beans. <laughs> but you do have a crush. I never said that. You didn't need to. I can tell just by looking into your eyes. Well, I gotta say, if you'd like to succeed in matters of love, you might want to step up your game. Why is there the a hell? frame flicker? What the hell do you know about my game? I know nothing. It was just a suggestion made by the pretty someone. Wait, what? Well, they also know something because I've got plenty of game. Prove it. Put with me. Give me your best pickup line. I can't right now. I have to be in the mood. Ah. Excuses, excuses. Ugh, fine. <clears throat> Did you fall from Angel because you're a hot Wait, shit. <laughs> Let me start over. Well, that's actually pretty good. No, oh, stop mess. I messed it up. You got me kind of flustered, White. Mm. We'll definitely pass this along to that pretty someone. Jesus. <laughs> God damn it, Raz. So many of you need <laughs> dive here. Hey. Raz, can I ask you something? Go ahead, shoot. It's exactly what I wanted to talk about, actually. What would happen if I shot you with these guns? So, cards. Why? I, why, do, why do you want to shoot me, Wait. I don't want to shoot you per se, just wondering what's stopping me from going off on any heavenly entity. Specifically the believers. Remember how I told you demons don't have any effect on angels? Well, those cards are made of demon junk, so they just have no effect. And the believers? Yeah, they're a little different from angels, but I wouldn't try anything unless you're in the mood to blow up. Yeah, I figured. It was just a hypothetical question anyways. Hey, does that mean if I shot you, the bullet would just phase through you like some kind of ghost? I don't know. Probably. Hmm. Can we try it? Really? Really, White? Just once, and I'll never ask again. I guess so, but only because you're my favorite customer. Yeah! The same from... away from the bottles. My bottles! I think that's everything, everyone. Let's go talk to Gabby, see if we get a card. You're back. Don't act so happy to see me. Let's see here. 
Your next mission requires this neon rank. Dang, I am wow, so far look ahead. Look at that. Your neon rank is so. You've earned yourself a Yay! heavenly delight. One moment while I check on Mr. Mike. Oh, Mr. White. Mikey's meeting with another neon at the moment. That's never stopped me before. Huh. Looks like the meeting just ended. <laughs> Say hi. I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna kill, kill you. you. <laughs> you can go now, Mr. White. I know. I know. All right, I'm just gonna get straight to it. I'm assigning you to one of the toughest parts of the Hanging Gardens, but I ain't happy about it. Why is that? Because if you're gonna die here, this will be the place you do. Thanks. Really appreciate the confidence. You work here as long as I have. You start to see the patterns. This is the point where even the beefiest neons start to lose steam. And you're just a poor little twig. I didn't take you for such a sentimental guy, Mikey. I just don't like this crap. This needless dying. It goes against my credo. The believers make it out like it's what we deserve for leading such sinful lives. The believers can go suck an egg. Hey, language. Don't you freaking tell them I sent them, here? I don't get it. If you hate sending Neons to their doom so much, why don't you just quit? You think I got a choice here? I don't see why you wouldn't. Of course not. You're immortal. Spoiled by the freedom to choose. Ugh. It's really not that hard. You could just walk up to the believers and tell them your little egg thing. And you could just get the hell out of my office. Hey, you better choose your words carefully. They might be the last you ever say to me. Not with my luck, it won't. <laughs> Love you too, Mikey. <laughs> I love the dynamics in this game. The characterisms are so good. Welcome to the heavenly... Would you like to redeem a ticket? Here's my ticket. Splendid. What are we doing? Neon White, you're not gonna believe what we've got in store for you this time. Do your worst. Better grab a pickaxe because you're headed to the mines. Exhilarating. What could be more exhilarating than working up a sweat in the bowels of heaven for an experience like no other? Are, are you, are you fucking seriously asking me to blow through my demon slaying strength on mining? Not to worry, you'll have the help of the other top scoring neon for several. I hate this. How do you not hate this? Trust me, I completely hate this. If I'm forced to be miserable, I might as well get a nice big gem out of it. Quit, get our gems in a place like this. I may be a dead woman, White, but that does not mean I don't appreciate the finer things. Now, can you come help me with this boulder? I have to. Here's the deal. If it's something shiny, I'll bedazzle the hill of your katana with it. Fine. Just a little more. <laughs> Holy, it's beautiful. I'll take that. What the hell? The blessed asses off mining that stuff up. It's ours. Yours? You must be joking. This was supposed to be our reward for being top performers. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Your husband and Billy was the mining experience. I never said anything about you keeping what you dig up. That's all. Well, well, look at it this way. At least they can never take away all the good times we shared. Please shut up. Yes, ma'am. What even is this game? But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Neon White. I'll see you. Excuse me. Get real, Ian. You're recording in the next episode. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and um, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and if you're new here, why not strike that subscribe button and see if you like the other, I believe, 800 plus videos on this channel. Might be something in there. Bye, everyone.